When you come to Daytona, you have to make sure of one thing. You have the proper parking pass. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> you will be towed. I hope that wasn't Casey Kane's ride to the <laughs> care center. No, I'm sure not. Do you know where you, are you pro parked properly? Maybe? I don't have a look lately. <laughs> okay. We'll keep an eye on it. We haven't seen your car on the hook yet, but <laughs> no. they're looking. Be sure to catch the drama of the NBA All-Star Weekend on TNT tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern. It's the 55th NBA All-Star Game from Houston. Eats meets West and a big night of basketball right here on TNT. And more coverage from Houston coming up right after the race. Earnhardt Jr. leads the field to the green flag and watch those guys behind him. Cleaver, McFarland, Sauter, Hines. Looks like Tracy Hines is having trouble keeping up with that lead pack. Tracy in the 14. Those cars did not pit. A caution to go when the rest of the field did. Earnhardt Jr. electing to stay out and the four cars behind him. But this is good for Jr. He's got a lot of these guys in between him and the fast guys coming up like Stewart and Hamlin and Bush. So this is going to buy him a little bit of time anyway. Todd Cleaver, the 06 car. A Rebestus rookie this year, driving for Jack Roush. Entire 2006 Bush Series. Stewart's coming pretty fast. I don't know how much time it's going to buy him. Maybe a lap. We watch and check with Dave. Brian Vickers is talking in the infield care center. First, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, it's a good thing. It's, uh, you know, it... <laughs> I tell you, I guess, I guess the NASCAR meetings haven't been enough for some people. You know, it's real a shame because they ride a Chevy. Uh, Monte Carlo SS was was good all day. We didn't have quite the right gear. We had a 33 gear, and that kind of cost us from taking the lead a little bit. Uh, we were up against the chip, but uh, we were really up against the chip when uh, Biffle lifted my tires off the ground going at one. I have no idea what he was thinking. That was probably one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. I, uh, I guess uh, I hope I can't find him. That was a very gracious way to put it. I asked Brian if he wanted to see a video replay. He said, ah, don't need to. Well, I thought that the cars were slow to front, but obviously that's not the case. Caution, debris in turn two. Between turns one and two. One of these cars is lo losing pieces out there. What was Tony doing with the with Earnhardt Jr.? Was he playing with him or no, was he making he, him think? I think he was trying to get a run and get beside him. Sure didn't take him long to get around those cars that didn't stop, though. Nope. Under caution, Dave? Well, Casey Kane, uh, we might have been a little bit more concerned about just because he took a much harder hit into the wall out there. Uh, they let you go, so I assume you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. It's uh, it's nice to have good safety equipment, that's for sure. And uh, we definitely have that at Evernet Motorsports. But the uh, our Dodge Charger, Regu Dodge, was awesome. You know, it was a lot of fun. The, the Evernet engines ran great, and I was having a blast out there. And then you just have, uh, I rode with, Brian Vickers in the ambulance, so his story is uh, Biffle caused that whole thing, and, and it sounds pretty pretty obvious that that's what happened, so um, just a bonehead move by Biffle, but other than that, it was a lot of fun. Well, we're glad you're okay. Uh, he will not be rejoining the race today, but of course he'll be in the Daytona 500 tomorrow, thankfully, because he's okay. There's some debris, bringing out the eighth caution. Somebody's going to be real light record. after yep. this race, BP. Man. Allen. Oh, just some wonderful radio traffic from Joey Meyer, <laughs> Dale Earnhardt Jr. spotter, down to that race car, the number eight. Uh, he said, I've got a message. Joey Meyer, the spotter, said, I've got a message from Tony Stewart if you want it. Junior said, go ahead. Tony said, we can race if you want to race, or we can block if you want to block. How do you want it to go tomorrow? And, <laughs> and that's that's exactly how Junior responded. He keyed the radio and said, oh, that's great. <laughs> so we'll see. Matt? Actually, the transmission from the 33 car to his spotter, which was supposed to be passed along, Alan, was, I'll run with him. I won't hang him out, but he better not hang me out tomorrow. I'll clean it up like that. <laughs> Tony Stewart starts 20th tomorrow. Dale Earnhardt Jr. rolls off 7th. Lights are out. The pace car. Ask the gray poupon, please. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look like you're having fun. They are having fun. Yep. They are. And you know, they might even get a trophy. 
<laughs> yes, they might. And some money. Earnhardt Jr., the leader, Stewart restarts second. And it's Hamlin, Waltrip, McFarlane, and Cleaver. Kyle Busch, Harvick, Sorensen, and Boyer. Alan Moore? Yeah, I, I was talking to Tony Uri Sr. before the race, Bill, about Dale Earnhardt Jr. And he was talking about a winning streak that Tony Uri Sr. and Dale Earnhardt Sr. went on in this race, the February Bush Series race at Daytona. They won five straight. And over the past few years, Jr. had a streak going here at Daytona where they were trying to equal that five straight record of Bush Series wins at this track. They lost out. They weren't able to get one in a row. Jr. was very disappointed at not being able to equal that streak. Tony Uri Sr. said he looked at him, smiled, and said, just have to start another one. Yeah. And getting back to hearing from uh, Casey Kane and those guys, it will be interesting to hear Biffle's yeah. version of what happened. I hear that Danny O'Quinn in the 50 car wouldn't let the lucky dog go around, <laughs> so they told him, Come to the trailer after the race. We'll explain to you, rookie, yes. how things work. <laughs> That's the key word. <laughs> rookie. So he's got an appointment after the race. Junior hopes he has an appointment with Victory Lane. Watch the 8 of Dale Earnhardt Jr., the 33 green of Tony flag, Stewart. Green flag. 18 to go. Denny Hamlin in the 20 runs third. Michael Waltrip has moved his way forward throughout the day, started 42nd. Allen. Hey, you notice the two cars that are lined up behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. are teammates at Joe Gibbs Racing. It was just pointed out to Jr. that Michael Waltrip is in that line, and you know how well those two have worked in the draft at Daytona before. That might be some needed help coming for Jr. in the form of that 99 car. Marty. And Alan, don't count out the rookie back there either in the 88 car, Mark McFarlane. You know his, who his boss is? The man up front, Dale Earnhardt Jr. They did not pit on the last stop, just like their boss man, and they're going to stick with him wherever he goes. And I would say Denny Hamlin probably owns, owes one to Tony Stewart. Uh-oh, we got trouble. David Green. Boy, has he had a long day. He's 35 laps down. He just brought out the caution. Is the yellow out yet? I'll take that back. He, they did not put out the caution. So we stay under Green. Earnhardt and Stewart up front. Bush on the outside trying to get someone to work with him if he can get back to the front. Boy, Denny Hamlin lost a lot of spots. I think he probably, the spotter probably said caution, and he probably backed up. And one car is Jason Keller. I haven't seen him today. Hey, Dave, how about Waltrip? He's running pretty well, Bill. There's only one thing he might be a little bit worried about. Early in the day, he said his car was perfect, just slow. Now, can he get the help from rookie Mark McFarland right behind him? Well, sometimes, Wally, if the rookie's got a great car, you have to use him, don't you? Absolutely. If he's got a fast car, he's got to follow him or hopefully make some kind of a deal. But I think McFarland is going to be looking at whatever the eight car is going to do. <laughs> Taylor Hart Jr., not what Michael Waltrip wants to do. I'll tell you what, this run by Michael Waltrip is very, very impressive. Started at the very back of the field, and here he is. Checker flag almost in the air, and running third. I think Michael will jump out in front of either Boyer or one of those guys when they come up if they've got to run. Michael in the 99, third behind Earnhardt and Stewart. It's Clint Boyer in the two up high. Well, they fixed that two car, remember? How slow he was about 30, 40 laps ago? There's Michael. Tony Stewart is trying to get Michael to go with him on the outside. Michael chooses the bottom. McFarlane, the 88 car, Junior's car is getting shuffled to the back. And that's because of why? 
Rookie stripe. 